Hey guys, what's up? It's once again mp4podcast.com and lately I've been downloading some Steam games extremely cheap. I uh, picked up both Batman games from Steam with all the DLC for $7 and some change. Okay, yeah, these games are old and on the PlayStation you can get the greatest hits and you can get it for 20 bucks. Maybe if it's used you get a little bit cheaper. You know, same with the Platinum hits on Xbox. You know, 20 bucks. And then some change. Um, I think Platinum's, the greatest hits or whatever, they used to be 30 but I think that, you know, Best Buy's been mocking things down to 20 bucks lately. But, you know, 7 bucks, some change in all the DLC, not a bad deal. You know, I'm going to move down a little bit. Um, both Left for Dead's 5 bucks each. Don't want to make this video too long, but both Mass Effect's 5 bucks each. Uh, Saints Road, the third, all the DLC seven dollars and some change now if the steam box brings the steam experience to the steam box exactly the way it is on the pc the great deals you get on the pc steam is going to seriously give xbox 720 and the ps4 a run for their money now just think of it if they build this steam box you know with you know an intel processor you know, an NVIDIA graphics chip or an ATI, whatever, and they make it with, you know, so it's like a PC, but it's running a different operating system. Kind of like, you know, you have a, you, you can have, a, you know, a Windows OS in there, a Linux OS, or, you know, even you know, Macs are basically, you know, Windows, I don't want to say Windows PC, but they're Intel computers. I know personal computer, yeah, yeah, yada, 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 whatever. Um, I'm just saying the basics, the same exact hardware they're going to be very easily be porting these go games over to the steam box so i mean you have to look at it from this this point of view um we don't get these types of deals really on the xbox 360 on the ps3 even though they do have deals and some of those deals are good on the dlc on those systems um but they're not as good as steam deals so if steam can capitalize on this stuff right here and for me it's game over I would rather uh, I mean be buying downloadable games with on a steam box uh, you know paying cheap prices yeah I don't get the uh, like an original hard copy but then again you know sometimes I'm saving 75 percent off the original sale price anyway so I mean it's not that big of a deal and if you think if you do trade in you know, an Xbox version or a PlayStation at a GameStop, you're not going to get the same amount of money back, whatever. I mean, there's there's good and bads about everything. There's bad things about Steam. I can go on and on about that, but I want to keep this uh, video short. But this is a serious, I really think this is going to be a serious blow to Microsoft and Sony. And they are going to seriously have to think about what they're going to do with their digital distribution. Because Steam, I'll tell you right now, I mean Valve, Valve has some of the smartest people in the industry working at that company. And you know they're a smart company because they don't bring out any of their own games unless they can get at least a 9, okay? Or, you know, maybe some people say, well, you know, this game was maybe an 8.5. Uh, you know, when they bring out like a Half-Life 3, it's going to get like a 9.5. And they test that. They go over that. They, they're working on Half-Life 3, I bet, right now. But, you know, they're going to make sure it's it's a killer title. And maybe coming out in 2013 for a launch. But Steam is one of those very tight-lipped uh, company, companies like Blizzard. Uh, but that's pretty much my, my, my thought on this. You know, I haven't really played around with Steam too much. But I'm blown away by the cheap prices. So that's my take. Take care, guys. Later, guys. Bye.